So if there's one human being on the face of planet Earth that I know dislikes Robert, uh, it is it is John Numbers. Uh, he is not a big fan. Be wrong. Thank you, big man. Right before this uh, winning final set for the subscription, we appreciate it. But now going into this, um, so one of the biggest issues that Weaver Shaner has, and while she is really good at ledge camping, as I was mentioning in earlier sets, she still has a lot of trouble getting off the ledge. Like she doesn't have the greatest ledge options outside of you know soccer ball mix-ups. And once she has that, limited to say the least. Yep. Lob. Insane ledge trapper, one of the best in the game. Um, ooh. And Dill is just really struggling to get something started mm -hmm. because I feel like right now his timings on his falling aerials is being a little bit predictable. You see Numbers being ooh. so confident. He's able to get the parry. Dill thinking Numbers was going to try to fast fall away and uh, try to get that option coverage with a no, forward air. No jump here, by the way. Ooh, would have liked to have seen a little bit of a more uh, hasty run off there by Numbers. However, though, Dill getting back. And right now, that's mm. Numbers uh, using like Dill's gyro really, really brilliantly, I feel like, because the way that he tossed it up earlier, it just sort of created this inhospitable space for him. Mm -hmm. That is going to be the forward throw, but Numbers unfortunately did not have the deep breathing active. Had he had it, that might have been the stop. Oh, certainly would have killed. Uh, we've trained her again. Uh, kind of limit two, if you will. The counter gets a whole cool. lot of buffs from deep breathing. Thank you, Devin, for the comedic effect. But um, what what kind of an interaction was that? Cartoons. Not, Dill just. Oh! <laughs> ah! ah, numbers. Woo! Dill has no fuel, by the way. So if he gets hit here off the stage, he is very gonna be very close to dying once again. Although it is slowly restoring as he's, he's gonna get down air. Um, ah, says hit him with that. That Dill nonsense. took 110% yeah. like, what He's stage. lucky he didn't die! <laughs> How many soft spikes did we see from that forward? That was absolutely insane. Yeah. Right now, Numbers is sitting where he wants to be right now, which is on the stage, hanging onto edge. Good tech! Ooh, would have also seen a down air immediately from Dill. Didn't get the recognition out just in time. That is a hard reaction for sure. Mm -hmm. And now the deep breathing is on deck, and Adasic will take it. A reaction from Numbers on neutral get up, catches Dill, as he probably tries to re- uh, kind of put himself back into that neutral. He was in disadvantage for quite some time there. Sun's coming out. And right now, I like the way that Dill is pacing this. He's just really slowly Ooh. holding center stage. He's waiting for numbers to overextend or overcommit to something like soccer ball or header rather. Um, and as a result, you, like, you see yeah. him punishing for it just about every single time. Dill almost getting the spacing with his neutral beat though. Numbers really, really brilliantly maneuvering around it. Yeah, and the spacing on Numbers recoveries has been really good. The being, oh, incredible mash. Mar numbers has that Mario Party mash. He's real, real good at it. Um, hold up. Oh, this is, this is really, really good for Dill, but Numbers so smart Ooh. to throw the header out. Uh, just give himself a little bit more coverage, though a little bit unprepared to deal mm. with the back end. Yeah, kind of a tough situation there for Numbers. Kind of fortunate he got out of there only taking 10%. Uh, just because Dill with the jab, jab into gyro almost did a lot more percent than 10, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. He just didn't react in time. Um, however, though, Numbers taking full advantage. Kind of putting himself back into a positive neutral position. Up in the air, that gyro, that is actually really smart. Um, it is what wastes the most time with uh, gyro so that Rob does not get it back. Um, kind of an old uh, Smash 4 strategy, I think, and Brawl strategy as well. Kind of works the same way. Um, Oh, really, really nice uh, neutral air from Dill because it stopped him from being able to snap onto ledge and it also stopped Numbers from trying to set up with his own gyro. Just like a really, really great way of really setting the stage for himself. Great parry by Dill, but still, Numbers having enough time to run and dash right there. Dill forcing his advantage. No jump from Numbers, but the soccer ball still active. That's huge. Yes. And you see Dill trying to get a uh, setup going with the drag down up air. Almost getting hit by the soccer ball. Oh, no. Oh no, hold up. Really nice neutral B, just to basically stuff out any projectile that Numbers could throw out in the moment. 168%, Numbers could back out him, he could fully throw Hold him. up. Okay, Numbers ready with the mash. Uh, back throw smart by Dill, knowing that the mash was ready. Oh, Tex. Oh my god, I thought he went the oh, other direction. Dead. Oh! <laughs> hey gamers, can we get a replay on that? Can we get yeah, a... Yes. Yeah. So, that doesn't happen. 
your arms past my body. Yeah, no, but just like... What? <laughs> Thank yeah, goodness we have player mics now. This is great. Oh my god. I'll play the replay. Yeah, no, why moment. did he get sent that way? Only you hit me, right? That makes no sense. Yeah, same. Is that reverse hit a fair? That's what it must have been, right? That, gets like, going off stage. Gets going off stage. Like, I, I, I'm near positive that, that it was, so it was a reverse hit a fair, right? Exactly. Inside me the wrong way. So, so that would have been the game, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Tries to up out. And then... Yeah, why did Duke get sent that way? What? That was a forward air. Wow. Alrighty, gamers. Let's jump into game two of Winner's Finals. Please, please, please stop. Um, right off the bat, Dill is making a fantastic <laughs> job of oh, just, like, God. making numbers and patient with his gyro play. Really love the way that he tossed it and then just, like, threw it back a couple of times. But 62% with deep bleeding. Numbers had to lead that Dill was going to go low, but Hold just up, barely missing on his execution. Still his no jump from Dill. Hold up, mirrors down to the ground. That laser positioning really good. Forces numbers at least far away. If not to get hit there. Uh, almost getting fared. Back on stage with Dill. Neutral and advantage is now in his side. Uh -huh. Really nice use of the forward air there. That would just like effectively catch any dash -ins. Dill with the conversion mm -hmm. of Gyro into back air, but just unfortunately mistiming it. Yeah, and a lot of the time that actually just flat out will catch air dodges. It is that lingers for that long. Detail in the dash act though, puts numbers back on stage, looking for a side. We're not going to be getting into us yet. Mm -hmm. Numbers back on stage though, and that is a great air dodge by numbers. He has not shown that mix up air dodging right next to the ground yet in just. While death. Ooh. Whoa! I'm actually shocked. Beautiful tech. I love the patience with Dell offstage. Mm -hmm. He was waiting numbers up close. He was just waiting to see what he was going to do. Nice. Ah. Great straight from numbers. We'll take that every day of the week. Oh. Dill has to find a way to get like get this game under control because numbers high percent off stage like this is really where he wants to be most of the time. However, numbers does not have a jump. This should oh. be the stock, but Dill. Oh. Nice. That's Wha it. Yeah, what? You got him. Yeah, we take, we take that trade every day of the week, baby. <laughs> we take that every day of the week, baby. Ooh. That's nah, gonna be 32. You really uh, did. Folks, it's looking like a like a rippy wrap. Put it in a tortilla. Uh, put it in a falafel. I don't know. That's not. Is that's he gonna that's, do it again? I wrap. thought he was gonna go through the down new chain again. And the okay. hero. This game is spiraling out of Dill's control, and Numbers' ability to hold his momentum is just so incredible. Yeah, the parries are good too. His advantage HP has been so good so far. Jar up in the air. Throw it up again. Oh, looking for Dill to land on it. Oh, almost mm -hmm. getting it with the Jaira too, but Numbers using his deep breathing to stall just a little bit longer past it. He was anticipating an air dodge. I love the fact that Dill didn't commit to an option. Does he have Numbers? No, almost dies. Not quite yet. Trying to catch a preemptive recovery. Oh, oh, you can't grab that? That's my train. Oh, hold up. Shield grabs in this game, of course, not being too fast. No. He had the read too that numbers was going to go uh, to the right, but was unable nice. to find follow Jab. up there. Super unsafe. Oh, don't parry. You love that. Man, Devin is having the time of his life on that. So oh, he's, it, play, he's playing. Tell with me, it's not godlike. It's a, he's playing with all of his toys. It's fine. Uh, oh. And Dale lands right on top of the sun. Numbers not anticipating that whatsoever. Um, he a little bit shocked by it. And Numbers moves on to Grand Finals of Xeno 197. And the cartoon continue uh, as he moves further into the bracket. We're currently waiting on um, losers' quarters. So we're going to get into the losers' semis.